welcome to my channel. I know I've been away for such a long time. Um, I really want to get my channel up and running again, so I promise I'll be doing at least one video a week and I'll be uploading that. But while I've been away, I've been doing my most favourite thing, which is buying tons and tons of makeup and loose foundation. So that will be definitely plenty of reviews for you guys. So hopefully, it might be something that you're interested in buying or have bought and wondering is it quite right for me? So I'm hoping that these reviews that I'll be doing over the next coming weeks, months, however long will um, help you. So right now I'm going to do uh, just a quick review on my uh, top three fa favourite foundations. And are you thinking, how can somebody have a top three? I have like 11 different foundations. It's uh, absolutely ridiculous. So many liquid foundations and only about one powder, just a clinique one. I don't usually buy powder foundations. I don't particularly quite like them. They don't go very well with uh, my skin type. But yeah, like 13. I have way too many foundations, but hey ho, there you go. So let's start with number three. I got this in a set from QVC. Um, it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation full coverage right. now when I say when they say this is a oh so it's in deep sand so when they say it's full coverage it it really is full coverage um, I tend to use this when I've my skin's a bit more oily because it definitely does mat your skin out so if you've got dry skin don't go with this because if you're looking ashy as dust don't be doing it oh let me put a bit of a swatch more like a full on idiot with like foundation down the side of my face. No doubt the doorbell's probably gonna go now, but let's see where you can see it the best. Okay, so I've put that there. And this matches very well for my skin tone as well. Because I have a lot of problems finding one that matches my skin tone. It's either too light, too dark, and I look bun up. Or too ashy, too light, or too orange. My undertone is more yellow. And with their foundations for darker skin tone or uh, African um, Black Caribbean skin tones, you usually find them in a lot of orange or red colours. And I don't have a red undertone. My undertone's quite more golden than anything. So that one, you can barely see where that was. See if I can zoom in. So it was around here. Okay, now let's zoom back out. Oh, 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 going into my face. Right, um, that's my third one. Third favourite. Uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. It's got SPF 15, which is good as well. And this is in deep sand. And you get quite a bit in there as well. Oh yeah, and it came with this absolute kick-ass brush. It was leopard print, but me and my greasy, oily hands like taken off half of it anyway. But I absolutely love this chubby brush. Second one is one of my last buys actually, was the MAC Next to Nothing Face Colour. Now this is in Dark Plus. Whatever the hell Dark Plus is supposed to mean, because this is like... To me, I don't know it's because it's frosted glass, but it looks quite light. This, I just bought it on an off chance, and I also bought it with the setting powder that it came with as well. Absolutely love it. It was really good in this morning. It was really hot because it's it's definitely light like coverage. If you need medium to full coverage, you're not going to get it with this. You might be able to put it over your medium coverage foundation to give like a top coat or something or whatever, or underneath it as a base. But if you want um, like a, a light, simple coverage that feels quite dewy and airy, then this is the one. I really, really like this. Let's do a swatch of... Be helpful if I turn the turn. Right. So you can see it's quite liquidy. It should be quite different in colour to this one. I'll put that one here. See, now you can see how different in colour... That was, I think I'll be close if you can see. But it still goes on quite well. 
Let's zoom in. Oh, for goodness sake. It says zoom in, it goes and bloody zooms out. Right. Yeah. So I'm look also looking in my other mirror here as well. See, actually, that's basically... <laughs> that's basically disappeared into my face. So you can, you can just about see that. What you'll probably see is the sheen. Which is what I was talking about. I don't think it has any... Um, you know, like the glittery things, or what do you call it? No, I said go, zoom out, thank you. Um, you know, it has like glittery, um, shiny particles. It doesn't have it listed in here, like the, I think they've got an uh, Illuminize, I can't remember the name, Max got a brand where it's basically just crushed pearls in the foundation, and you look like some kind of damn glitter ball. It's not that one. But it does definitely give you a sheen. So I really do. I definitely recommend this one. This is my second one. Which is uh, MAC Next to Nothing Face Colour in Dark Plus. They do have one I think is one shade darker than this. Plenty that were many, many shades lighter. MAC is getting a bit whitewashed now. I'm getting worried about your MAC. You need to figure your colours out a little bit. But I go on to my uh, absolute number one top buy, which is my last buy, which I got from feelunique.com when I had their 50% sale off. And it is the Per 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 uh, 4 in 1 Liquid 14 Wear Foundation with SPF 15. This one I got in Golden Dark. And this, oh my days, you see me properly, guys. This properly matches my skin tone, like down to a T. I'm going to do it on this side now. This one, uh, medium to full coverage. Medium to full coverage, I'd say. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I realised I didn't do that with the, um, with the tart one. The tart one is very uh, moussey. That's what that one looks like. So if you can see my dirty ass nails. But, uh. Let's put that here. See, so, so you can see it definitely is lighter than, especially the tart and next to nothing. But I guarantee you this definitely matches in. Not sure if you can see it because of the light. I'm just going to pick the camera up. That might help a bit. So you, can you see that? Oh, oh, wait, there's a, there's a bit right there. Yeah, so the camera cut out, but yeah, there was a bit right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll put some... Hell, I'll just put some primer on and I'll do it on most of my face. Uh, primer I use is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base, Base Luminaire. I've got the yellow one. They have it in pink. But uh, pink is usually for the cool undertones. And the yellow one is usually for the um, yellow golden skin tones. So that's the primer. It's, it's a lot like basically like skin cream. And I'll just put that over. I'm just definitely doing this for you guys because I did a really nice skin routine this, uh, this afternoon. I'm like, oh, I'm not, not going to put any makeup on. What does Robin go and do? Go and put bloody makeup on. For you guys now. Right, so you don't need a lot with this. Zoom in. Can, can, can. Yo, top, cutting my top lip off. That better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to get a higher chair. Right. That that should just about do. Yeah. One more pump. I'll put it on the outside. And what I like to do with it as well is put a bit especially for the summer put a bit of a illuminator 
So this is the Born to Glow NYX Liquid Illuminator in pure gold. This one's proper nice. I've used out so much. That's what that one looks like. And I'll just dot it around with it just to give me some nice natural highlights because whenever I put my highlighter on at the end because I've got quite I've got especially oh, oh that was dangerous around here my pores are quite big and that's where you have to put the highlighter so sometimes it gets dragged into it and it looks pitted and I don't like that look so oh the lips and I promise I'll do a, um, a full a full routine makeup look with this foundation and I'll actually do my eyebrows and everything because Robbie's just coming on the camera looking straight up crusty right now but you know what when you're thinking when you've got something in your head just do it then because you'll keep on procrastinating till the cows come home and then you'll be sitting there a year later like I was supposed to do this one and didn't do it so so do you know what? I might look crusty and a bit ashy and need my hair relaxing again. But you know what? I'll come on and do this for you guys. So, there you go. This is my number one pick, which is the Per 4-in-1 14-hour wear set foundation in Golden Dark or Fonce. Or Fonce. It's got an accent at the end. So... Let's see. I didn't apply any to my neck, which I probably should have done because I've got a bit of hyperpigmentation down the bottom of my neck. But I absolutely love this foundation, what it does. Absolutely love it. You can see, guys. Okay, uh, Robin's looking a bit shiny.com right now, but that's because I haven't set it with a setting powder, which, you know what? I'm here, might as well do it. Let's see. Right, so this is the... I'm going to set it with the MAC Next to Nothing matching powder. That's what came with this one. Well, it didn't come with it. I started to go and bloody buy it and pay for it. But you know what I mean. The uh, pressed powder. It's also in Dark Plus. If you can see, it looks quite light because... Oh, almost tipped it looks quite light because of the um where i've got the camera positioned but i'll just use it to set it and it takes off any um oily residue i might have but it won't it's not so heavy that it it mats it and it dulls it down which i, I find happens quite a bit yeah it matches my skin tone perfectly this camera's just straight up rude cut me off again right i was right at just the end part of my speech but yes definitely number one recommend absolutely love this definitely buy it definitely get it you can use it whether you've got um dry combination oily skin just make sure you use an adequate primer and an adequate setting powder 